Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. Uh, find the potential difference across each cell and the rate of energy dissipated across dissipation in R. Okay. So potential difference means your terminal voltage they are asking. Means they are assuming here that this is a 6 volt is the EMF and R2 and R1. Okay. They are internal resistances. Right. So basically what will be the potential difference? The terminal voltage. Okay. Across what is the voltage across R that they are asking. Right. So what we will do here is we'll start as usual. Let's say this is current I1. Okay. What should be the current going back to the battery? I1. And if this is our current I2, what should be the current going back to the battery? I2. Now some water is coming from the top and some water is coming from below. And this is the only way. So the current will add up here. I1 plus I2. As simple as that. And that will go here again down as I1. Because you can see over here I1. So it is coming here. And here it must be I2 as you can see here. So our junction rule is done. Let's name it because naming is not given in this particular circuit. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So naming and junction rule. Very important initially to start with. Right. So let's start with the lower battery one. So I'm starting with uh, C, B, E, D, C. What is our EMF? EMF is 6 volt and that is equals to C to B. There is no register and nothing. So we will not consider here C to B. Correct. Now we are going from B to E. Is there any register? Yes. 4 ohm register. And what's the current? I1 plus I2. Correct. Now then E to D. E to D nothing here. So we can skip this part. And D to C. Yes. 1 ohm is there. So 1 into what's the current? I1. Now this will be 6 equals to 4 I1 plus I1. That will be 5 I1 plus 4 I2. That's your equation number 1. Next is, let's take the upper loop. So, upper loop is A, B, E, F, A. Again, I'm repeating, I always go from positive of the battery to negative. So, that things becomes consistent. If you are following any other YouTube channel or if you are following any textbook, reference book or school teacher, be very careful. The signs will be different because their convention is different. My convention is different. So whatever makes you easier, whatever makes it easy for you, just follow that convention. So A to B, nothing is there. Is there any battery in this loop? Yes, 12. A to B, nothing to consider. B to E, 4 ohm register. So 4 into current, I1 plus I2. Then E to F, E to F is there. Nothing is there. Then F to A, yes, 2 ohm register is there. So 2 into current, I2. So it will be 12 equals 4 I1 and 4 plus 2, 6 I2. Let's multiply the first equation with 3 and multiply the second equation with 2. So first equation will give us 18 equals 15 I1 plus 12 I2. And second equation will give us 24 equals 8 I1 and plus 12 I2. Let's subtract minus 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 this cancels out 15 minus 8 7 i1 and 24 minus 18 how much it is uh, 6 so minus 6 sir we have to consider the negative sign yes be very careful so it will be minus 6 by 7 what about i2 let's substitute this i1 value in equation number 2 so from 2 12 equals 4 I1 minus 24 by 7. How I got minus 24 by 7? 4 into I1 I did. Plus 6 I2. Let's take this on the other side. So it will be 12 plus 24 by 7 equals to 6 I2. 7 to the 14 and 84 plus 24 by 7 equal to 6 I2. Okay. And let me simplify it further. So it will be 108 by 7. 108 by 7 equals 6 I2. And taking 6 on the other side, 6 1s are 6 and 48. 18 by 7 equals to current I2. This is our current I2, 18 by 7. And what's our current I1? I1 is minus 6 by 7. Now let's go back to our circuit and see. They are asking the voltage across what? 
terminal voltage is always voltage across this resistance R. Okay, that is our external resistance. So voltage will be current into resistance. What is the current here? I1 plus I2 into R. What's the voltage? V will be equals to 4 times I1 plus I2. Why? Because 4 is the resistance in that branch and current is I1 plus I2. So it will be 4. What's I1? Minus 6 by 7. And what's I2? 18 by 7. So 18 and 6, it will be 12 by 7. Correct. Now this will be 48 by 7 volts that our voltage across that external register or voltage across the potential difference across each cell. Common potential it will be. Why common potential? Because they are connected in parallel. Okay. You can see that. And what's the rate of energy dissipation? Rate of energy dissipation will be, we already know, H is equals to I square RT. Now they are asking the rate. The rate will be H upon T which will be I square R. Now what is I? Our I is nothing but the total current. And what's the total current? We just now found here 12 by 7. So 12 by 7 into 12 by 7 into resistance which is 4 ohm. So 12 twelves are how much it is? 144 upon 49 into 4. And 144 into 4 is nothing but 576 by 49. Correct. So 576, if you divide by 49, you will get, okay, this is joules. So this implies the heat energy liberated is 11.7 joules per second. Be very careful, 11.75 joules per second. Done. Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now.